Hello, Fight Fans. This is Coach Nathan of the NS Champ 7 Power Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And I would like to introduce to you my picks on Fight of the Year, uh, Upset of the Year, Knockout of the Year, and Fighter of the Year. Now, these will be a series of videos, folks, so uh, be sure to stay tuned, and I welcome your comments on any of my picks for these. Um, these picks, my criteria for making these picks are my many years of combined combat sports experience in boxing and in judo, and uh, studying the training habits of these fighters leading into, these, into the fight. And uh, I've been doing this stuff for about 40 years, folks, studying the training habits of the contemporary champions and contenders in boxing. So my pick for fight of the year was the heavyweight title showdown between Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, versus Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Now, folks, the reason why the, the one word that characterizes this fight above all the others uh, that you could have for this category is drama. Uh, heavyweights, since the beginning of boxing, heavyweights have always captured the imagination of fight fans. Uh, from Jack Johnson to Joe Lewis knocking out bigger guys, uh, Rocky Marciano, Jersey Joe Walcott being the first uh, man to be the oldest to win a heavyweight title at 37. Years later, that record being broken by Big George Foreman at 45 years old with his come from behind knockout of Michael Moore. Um, the drama of bigger men who can end a fight with one punch because of their size and their weight. And then the drama concerning this fight was uh, who would win the rubber match. Although Fury won the fight, the second fight, in easy fashion, uh, Waters won punch knockout power, almost won it for him in the, in the first fight. Then the drama, real or imagined, of the conspiracy theories from Wilder after him losing the second fight. Then within the fight itself, uh, the drama, as you're watching the fight going into that fourth round, and you see uh, Wilder's not looking too good. And then you realize he scored two knockdowns, and with one more knockdown, he's won that fight on a TKO. And then you have the drama of uh, Wilder's courage under fire, because the fight progresses into the later rounds. And you see this man has taken a lot of punishment, and you're wondering, how much more punishment can this man take? Only to see that question answered in dramatic fashion by Fury's devastating right-hand finish. So this by far, folks, is why this is my pick for fight of the year. Now, uh, stay tuned because my next video, I will give you the upset of the year. And feel free to send me your comments. And don't forget, for further elite boxing instruction, elite boxing analysis, and elite boxing philosophy, check me out at nschamp7.com. Don't go away because I will see you the next segment.